Welcome all of you that are joining us today. A happy Resurrection Sunday to you from uh, New Beginnings Church in Marfa, Texas. If you ever get a chance to come visit with us, we'd love to have you. Amen. So, brace yourself, wrap yourselves, and prepare yourselves to receive. Amen. Allow the Word of God to bless you and change Amen. you and encourage you. Amen. Or convict you, whichever one. Amen. But let it change you. Amen. Because we need to change. We don't need Amen. to be the same all the time. We're growing Amen. from glory to glory to glory. Amen. Amen. And hallelujah. Today's an awesome, awesome day. Amen. Because we celebrate our Savior. Amen. Amen. Well, we celebrate Him every day. This is the day. He says He rose. Amen. He said yeah. He was going and He did. So He rose. So praise God. So we want to welcome you and prepare yourself. Those that are joining us by audio, video. We just want to Thank you for joining us, and we invite you to prepare yourselves because God has something great for you. Amen. Yeah. The only thing we can't share with you is our fellowship. We're going to have some awesome meal afterwards, so we'll just uh, enjoy it for you. Amen. <laughs> so praise God. Amen. Grab yourselves. Grab your Bibles. Amen. It's up on the board. It says what? This is my Bible. I am the I am. I have I have I Today I'll be taught the word of God. I'll only confess my mind to learn, my spirit to reception, and I'll never be saved. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Woo. Hallelujah. Rusty told me happy birthday, Rusty, and happy birthday, Eddie. Um, Church Alive is worth the drive. Mm -hmm. And he says, it's worth the walk for him. <laughs> <laughs> he walks across the street here in Connie. Amen. Yes. So praise God. Amen. I am excited. I don't know about you, but uh, every day. He is with us. You know, he says he rose. He says he's yes. coming back. Yes. <laughs> and why not be so excited? He says he never leaves you nor forsakes you. That's right. And then he says, you know, you can do all things through me. All things. All things. Because I am Christ. with you and I strengthen yes. you. So we need to be excited. We need to be rejoicing. We need to be the happiest people. You know, if you go minister to somebody or uh, witness to somebody and you look, the saddest. They'll say, why do I need to what you got? You need to be excited. You know, hey, I've changed. <laughs> you should have seen me before. I'm excited now. Hallelujah. So praise God. Yes, you need Jesus. Amen. We all need him. So good morning, buenos dias, and happy resurrection day. He is not here. He is risen. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> You've heard this in Christmas time. He says, Jesus is the reason for the season. But you say, why do you want to use that? I said, well, he gave us seasons, and seasons change. So Thanksgiving, thank, thank you, Jesus, for the season of Thanksgiving. Thank you for the season of Christmas, because we celebrate the birth of our Savior. Yes. Today, we celebrate, this is the reason for the season, because we celebrate, not only did he die, he said he was going to raise, he yes. rose, he rose, so he is risen, amen? Yes. <laughs> well, <clears throat> the four Gospels give an account and we're going to read from two of them, okay? Two of the accounts. Amen. But I want you to know that he is risen. Amen? Amen. Yes. Um, let me take these off so I can see. <laughs> I think uh, most of us have uh, sang this song before. He paid a debt he didn't know. And I owe a debt I cannot pay. Amen. I cannot do anything without him. I need him daily. I need him all the time. You know, when you go out and face your giants, you'll find out. Mm. The prodigal son found out real quick when he left home. I can't do it without him. I can't do it without Father. I can't do it. We need him. We need to have relationship. Relationship is Christianity. We have relationship with our Father. When you have relationship with him, we need him. Amen. We need him as we go on our daily walk. Amen. With him. So praise God. Uh, let's uh, let me see. He's not here. He's risen. That's what the angel told uh, Mary. And now uh, we're going to be reading in a few minutes. Ma uh, Matthew uh, twenty-eight six. Okay. That's one account. Let me read it to you from here. Matthew twenty-eight six says the angel says he is not here for he is risen. Mm -hmm. And as he said, come see the place where he uh, where the Lord lay. In Mark six sixteen six, he says. But he said to them, Do not be alarmed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He is risen. He is not here. See the place where they laid him. Amen. He is not there anymore. 
I don't want to get too far ahead of myself, but let's go to the first account. And we're going to go to uh, Matthew 28. And I've already been told that <clears throat> food smells good. And we're going to fellowship, so keep it short. Say. <laughs> <laughs> the first account is in Matthew 28. Let me get it. Let me get over there. Are you there? Yeah. Matthew uh, 28, uh, 28, 28, 1 through verses 1 through 10. The resur resurrection of Jesus, verse 1. In the end of the Sabbath, as it is begin to dawn, towards the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see the sepulchre. And behold, there was a great earthquake, and the angel of the Lord descended from heaven, and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat on it. His account was like lightning, and his remnant white as snow. And for fear of him, the keeper then <laughs> did shake and became as dead men. I mean, <laughs> they passed out. I mean, they fainted. <laughs> you would too. <laughs> And the angel answered and said unto the, uh, the women, fear not, ye, fear not ye, for I know that ye seek Jesus, who was crucified. <laughs> he is not here, he is risen, praise God. And he says, come see the place where the Lord lay. And go quickly and tell his disciples and he, that he is risen from the dead. And behold, he goeth before you into Galilee. There shall ye seek him, and know I have told you. Amen. And verse 8 says, And they departed quickly from the sepulchre and fear, with fear and with great joy, and did run and bring the disciples' word, his disciples' word. Amen. And verse 9, As they went to tell the disciples, Behold, Jesus met them and said, All hail. And they came and held, uh, held him by the feet and worshipped him. And verse 10, And then Jesus and said Jesus unto them, Be not afraid. Go and tell my brethren that they go into Galilee, and there shall they see me. Amen. Yeah. Amen. That's the first account. So the angel told him, Be not afraid. He's not here. Whoo! Hallelujah. Praise God. <laughs> he defeated death. The Bible says he took the keys. Verse uh, Revelation 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 18 says this, I am he who lived and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Mm -hmm. Amen. And I have the keys of hell and death. Ex uh, extended Bible says this, I am the one who lives, I was dead, but look, behold, I am alive forever and ever, and hold the keys of death and to the place of death, hell. So he took the, dead, the keys of death, hell, and grave, mm -hmm. which the enemy had taken but now he's got him. He took him. Yeah, yeah, Amen. Yeah. So praise God. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> All right. Let's read the well. We'll wait. I'll read the other account and finish. He is seated at the right hand of the Father. Let's go to Mark. You got it right there. Go to Mark. This is awesome. Mark 16. Just turn over a few pages. Mark 16. And how does this involve me? Well, I'm going to tell you right now. Mark 16, verses, uh, let's start in verse 15. Yes. And he said unto them, Go ye into... This is before he's taken. This is before he's taken. He says, Go ye uh, into all the world and preach the gospel to some. <laughs> to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be what? Saved. And he that believeth not shall be damned. <laughs> And these signs shall follow them. Them is us. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. We're the believers. We're, we're his children. He says, These signs shall follow you. That believe. In my name, what? They will cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall lay hand, or excuse me, they shall take up when they take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Verse 19, so then after the Lord has spoken unto them, 
He was received into heavens and set at the right hand of God. A yeah. place of authority, a place where he intercedes for us. Amen. So this is where this is where Jesus went. And they went forth and preached what? The gospel everywhere. And the Lord working with them and confirmed the word with signs following. Amen. Yes, amen. So now you know he's told us what to do. He says, I am raised, I have risen. Now I want you to go and continue my ministry. Continue his ministry. We are his ministers of reconciliation. Yes. Well, I'm not a minister. Yes, you are. Yes, you're a minister are. of reconciliation. Right. You're also his ambassador. You're his mouthpiece. He is the hand with the body. Yes. So he uses his body to continue his ministry on earth. Amen. And the Bible says that we can do all things. Amen. We can do all things through him. <coughs> so he is seated at the right hand of the Father. This place of authority. Now we know where he's where he's at. And I'm gonna <coughs> this is gonna, I wanna read something to you in a few minutes. Romans 8 24 says this. Who is he who can, who uh, who can, can, can condemn us? It is Christ who died, and furthermore is also risen, who is even at the right hand of God, who also makes intercession for us. I'm just letting you know. He says that he is with us. He said he's going. He's going to give us the Holy Spirit. Give us the Holy Spirit to be with us, to be our helper. But he says, I am always with you. He says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So there's nothing to be of nothing to be uh, afraid of. He, because he also says, I've not given you a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and of a sound mind. Amen. Amen. So just a couple of scriptures here that tells us where he's at. He is at the Father's right hand. Another one it is Ephesians 1.20, which excuse me, says, He which he worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at the right hand of the Father. Colossians 3, 1 says, If then you were raised with Christ, seek those signs which are above where Christ is seated at the right hand of the Father. Now listen to this. This is the only place in the Bible where you see this. Acts 7, 55 and 56. And the NIV says, And Stephen, full of the Holy Spirit, they stoned him. They took him out to the end of the city, the edge of the city, and they stoned him. He's a man of God. He says, And Stephen, full of the Holy Spirit, looked up to heaven as they were stoning him, and saw the glory of God, and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. Yeah. Look, he says, I see heaven open, and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. Amen. Isn't that amazing? Yes. <laughs> the Bible tells us he went to heaven, he was taken up to heaven, and seated at the right hand of God. Yes. But when his faithful servant, Stephen, was being stoned to death, it says Jesus stood to receive him. Hmm. Right. Amazing. Awesome. This is a real place of honor for Jesus to stand up yes. to receive his faithful servant. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. One day he's going to receive you and say, welcome home, Amen. good and faithful Lord. servant. You know what he wants us to do? He wants us to be faithful servants and serve. He says, if you want to be great in God's kingdom, learn to be a servant of all. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Thank you for uh, for the slides. <laughs> happy Resurrection Day or Happy Resurrection Sunday. Keep going. Celebrate with us Resurrection Sunday. One more. Okay, there you go. Resurrection Sunday, mm. the day that changed yes, everything. Amen. 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 Uh -huh. You know, we are, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself here. <laughs> Resurrection Sunday is not about Easter Bunny. Amen. I hate to disappoint you. <laughs> it's not about the Easter Bunny. It's not about Easter eggs, Easter baskets. <clears throat> it's about celebrating the Lamb. Hallelujah. And not the Bunny. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I have to say that because uh, you translate my name in Spanish. It's Cordero. This is the name of God. In Spanish, it's Cordero de Dios. So, my name's in, in the Bible. <laughs> Thank you. So, it's not about you made it. It's, it's not about the money, it's about the Lamb. It's celebrating that the Lord Jesus Christ rose from the dead. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Someone of the kids are here and celebrating with us. <laughs> i got to tell you this. A little funny, funny story. <laughs> Sunday school teacher. Where's Miss Vicky? 
Sunday school teacher just finished telling the third graders Jesus was crucified and placed in a tomb and a great big stone was covering the, the, the tomb. <laughs> then sharing the excitement about his resurrection, she asked the children, what do you think were Jesus' first word when he came out of the tomb? This little girl shot her head way up high in the air. She leaped up and she was so excited. She says, teacher, teacher, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> she says, okay, Mary, <laughs> tell us what Jesus' first word was when he came out of the tomb. She says, ta-da! <laughs> We taught children for 20, 20, 20, 20, 20 plus years, and we were never surprised. <laughs> children say the darnest things. Yeah. So, <laughs> this little girl just say, Ta -da, that's what his first word says. Well, thank God, thank you, Jesus, for he was resurrected, so mm. praise God. We can celebrate his resurrection. As Pastor Pat said a few minutes ago, not once a year, but daily. Yes. Thank you. You yes. know, before you yeah. get, get before him and say thank you. Why? Thank you for rising up. Yeah. Amen. Thank you. Celebrate with an attitude of gratitude. Celebrate with an attitude of Amen. thanksgiving. Amen. Remembering Jesus is the reason for this Easter season. Remembering he is our living and victorious king. Remembering that he paid the price in full. Not just half, but full. Amen. He said he didn't have to, but he did. Whew, he's not here and he's risen. I'll just share a little thing with you here. <laughs> Been to Israel. Thank God I was went through Bible school and I got a chance to go to Israel. And one of the places we tour is the tomb. I've been on the outside, I've been on the inside, and he's not there. He's gone. You know, people in the world cannot explain. They're puzzled. They don't know. Yeah. But it leads me to say this. <laughs> People's gods and heroes like Muhammad, Buddha, Allah, Confucius, oh. Hitler, Joseph Smith, Jim, Jim Jones, David Koresh, they're still in their tomb. Yeah, they are. <laughs> They never rose. So whatever God, whatever God you have, whatever God people have, the world has, they never rose. Right. Our Savior rose. Yes, He did. Hallelujah. We need to be excited about Amen. that on a daily basis. Yes. Thank you, Jesus, that He paid the price. He came and fulfilled what He was called to do. Amen. Yes. All have died. They're all still dead, yeah. and they will never rise. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> and we have plenty of evidence because. Yeah. Cemeteries are full yeah. of these heroes, you know? and they're still there. Jesus died when he rose on the third day. We serve a risen Savior. We serve a risen King. We serve a risen Lord. Amen. He said he never leaves you and forsakes you. He never forgets about you. We forget about him, and we walk away and do our thing, you know. But we can always come. But you're only one step away from coming back to us. If you're doing about face mm -hmm. and stop going the wrong way, mm -hmm. he is there to meet you. Amen. You know, somebody told you that you've sinned and he doesn't know, want you anymore, he can't use you anymore, it's a lie. Yes. Mm -hmm. When you're doing an about face, just like the prodigal son says, you know, if I go to Father's house, it's much better. <laughs> well, you can come back home. Yes. Yeah. Come back home to him. All you have to do is stop and go the other way. You're doing about face and come to him. And he'll receive you with open arms. Yes. Okay? He's not going to say, well, you've gone too far. I can't have you anymore. Mm -hmm. He will receive you. Amen. Yeah, no you. matter what. My better, my, one of my better, my best examples is the, 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 the robber at the cross. Mm -hmm. Maybe he's sinning all his life. But this one time he told Jesus, you know what? I, I know you're Jesus. And I know that's what Jose. He says, I receive you. Basically confessed him as Lord and Savior. He said, you're Jesus. I receive you. And he says, today you'll be with me in paradise. Amen. That was yes. salvation right there before he passed on, before whatever happened to him after that. He says, today you'll be with me. So all these things about religion and, you know, follow these steps and do these steps and how many steps you got to do to get, to get saved, forget about that. 
You know, when you confess Him, He is there for you. Yes. Amen. He'll receive you. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> John 14, 16 says this. He says, I am the way. Yeah. Jesus told him, He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So whatever gods, whatever saints, whatever other things you have before Jesus, mm -hmm. just let him go. Yeah. It ain't going to get you anywhere. That's right. Matter of fact, you're going to die and you're going to go the other way. Because uh -huh. he says, if you want to go to heaven, he says, receive me. He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to the Father except through me. So when you receive him as Lord and Savior, you can work your way. You, you, you're going to see yourself going to heaven for eternal life. Amen. Not lost. You don't want to be lost. We're not lost. That's right. Amen. So praise God. Yeah, I've been to the trip. I made this trip to Israel. I've been to the tomb. I've been outside inside. The tomb is empty. Amen. <laughs> the, world, the word tells us he's risen. And the world has proof but cannot explain. Hmm. 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 The world, Easter, is just another holiday. A three-day weekend, lots of fun, no work, time off. Party time, entertainment, good foods, barbecue, and travel, vacation. And now, <laughs> Easter break is no longer Easter break. Easter break is now spring break. Mm -hmm. What's, I don't know, why, why they want to take away these things and take away prayer and, and the word from the schools. But... Easter break is now spring break. To hmm. so believers, resurrection is this: Jesus rising from the dead. Jesus paying the price in full. Yes. The Bible yes. tells us that for God so loved the world. Yes, He did. He saw a lost world. He said, "For God so loved the world, He wanted His children back to Him." He said, "He said His only begotten Son." Mm -hmm. Amen. He saved His Son to be crucified. Whoever we'll believes in Him should not perish. But have everlasting life. Yes. Amen. <clears throat> Not only that, but in uh, John 10:10, 10, 10, he tells us who our enemy is. Says the devil. Yeah. Come to steal, kill, and destroy. He says, yes. but Jesus, I have come that you might have life and have it more abundant. Mm -hmm. So we need him. We need to celebrate his resurrection day. Yes. Victory yeah. over death, hell, and the grave. Amen. Salvation. Yeah. Salvation. Yes. Salvation is free. Yes, Amen. it is. Let's go. Let's go to Romans. Uh, 10 and we'll read 10 9 and 10 Romans tells us salvation is free people don't know this That's people right. want to still pay their ways oh. pay their way to heaven oh. you can't pay your way That's by right. being too good or, or finances having all the finances in the world you know when you die it's just you in that grave yeah. <laughs> you, take nothing <laughs> you can't take nothing with you you can't have no uh, you hauls no Bear it with you with all your possessions, you know, all your monies or whatever. No, <laughs> all your bank accounts, no. Uh -uh. Uh, it's, it's not going to go with you. That's right. Amen. So let's go to Romans 10, 9, and 10. Are you there? Yeah. Okay, okay. It says, if thou, if you, if you shall confess with what? Mouth. Thy mouth. So you can't receive it or save, confess uh, salvation for somebody else. He says, you've got to confess it with your mouth. Amen. <laughs> confess it with your mouth. The Lord Jesus said, shall receive in thy heart that God, and believe in thy heart that God has raised him from the dead. Thou shalt be saved. Amen. And verse 10 says, for with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Yes. Amen. So, yes. thank you, Jesus. Salvation is free. You know, he went to the cross and painted it full. Mm -hmm. So salvation is free, but, yes. only, but what you have to do, our responsibility is yes. to say, Jesus, I confess you as my Lord and Savior. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. When you say, he'll come and be your Lord and Savior. Amen? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for a free gift of salvation. Yes. <laughs> new beginnings for a new life and a better life. Amen? Yeah. Let's go to 2 Corinthians 5, 7. It's verse, uh, excuse me, Saint Corinthians five seventeen. See what it tells us: a new life, 
Saint Corinthians. Why well, we haven't used our Bibles? It's the most. Are you there? Yeah. I gotta get there. Five seventeen says. Therefore, if any any man person be in Christ, what? Yes. He's a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. So guess what? When you confess him, he'll forgive you. He'll yeah. forget about it. And he'll put it behind him. He'll never bring it back. Mm -hmm. So don't let people or things or anyone hold you back. Mm -hmm. You're a new creature in Christ. If people still see you, you had a new spiritual birth on the inside. Amen? Mm -hmm. People see you and you still look the same and they still want to hold things against you. And hold things against you and say things against you. Mm -hmm. But guess what? You're a new person in Christ. Yeah. So don't go back there and say, you know what you're talking about? Somebody else. That's an old person there. So don't let those things hold you back anymore. Yeah. You're a new creature. He calls us creatures. I'm a love creature. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a new love creature in Christ. Amen. Amen. So I don't want to go back there anymore. I know you've never asked this, but I'm just going to say people. People ask... Why was the stone rolled away? You know what? If the angel hadn't rolled the stone away, Jesus wouldn't have come out. Yeah, and they couldn't have gone in the secret of God. <laughs> no. <laughs> the stone was not moved for Jesus to come out. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> the stone was rolled away for us to see, for people to see. Amen. And have evidence that he's no longer there. Mm -hmm. What happened? I'm going to read something to you in a few minutes. The stone was rolled away so we could see and, and see the empty tomb. It was made visible for proof. Amen. The empty tomb is the greatest evidence for the resurrection of Jesus. He is alive today and forevermore. Mm -hmm. So critics have tried to explain but haven't been able to. That's right. Can't explain it. Where'd he go? I don't know. Yeah. We didn't read the... We didn't read the... Uh, uh, let me see. Um, Matthew 28. We read it a few minutes ago, and I only read it to five, uh, verse 10. But if you read um, a few, few more scriptures down to verse 15, it says, <coughs> Mine start off with this. Verse 11 says, Bribing the soldiers. And they went and were going. Behold, some of the watch came into the city and showed unto the chief priests. All the things that were done. And when they were assembled with the elders and had gone and had taken counsel, they gave large money unto the soldiers, saying, ah. Say this yeah. His disciples came at by night and stole him away stole while him away. we slept. Mm -hmm. And if this comes uh, to the governor here, we will uh, persuade him and secure you. So they took the money and did as they uh, were taught. And, <clears throat> and this saying is common reported among the Jews until this day. <laughs> yeah. So he's saying, you know, you say the disciples stole the body. Yeah. I guarantee you, the disciples, <laughs> there weren't enough disciples to move that stone. <laughs> disciples couldn't have taken that body, amen? Right, amen. And they were right. just saying, say this. They're trying to cover themselves. Yeah. They're trying to cover themselves, and they took some bribe, took the money, but uh, angel came and rolled the stone away. Yeah. Amen. Now we have proof, and they can't explain it. So thank you, Father. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Uh, I'm going to read the other account now, which is mm -hmm. I'm going to read it to you from the New Living Translation, and you, if you want to follow along, it's John 20. 1 through 31. John 20, chapter 20, verse 1 through 31. I'm going to read it from the NLT, which is a New Living Translation. Early on Sunday morning, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb and found that the stone had been rolled away from the entrance. She ran and found Simon Peter. And the other disciples, the one whom Jesus loved, she said, 
they have taken the Lord's body out of the tomb. And we don't know where they put him. Peter and the other disciples ran out uh, for the tomb. They were both running, but the other disciples outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He stooped and looked in and saw the linen uh, wrappings laying there, but he didn't go in. Then Simon Peter arrived and went in. He also noticed the linen wrappings laying there, while the cloth that had covered Jesus' head was folded up and lying apart from the other wrappings. Then the disciples who had reached the tomb first also went in, and he saw and believed. For until they had, then they still hadn't understood the scriptures that said, that said Jesus must rise from the dead. Yeah. Then they went home. Jesus appeared to Mary Magdalene. Mary was standing outside the tomb crying. And as she wept, she stooped and looked in. She saw two white robed angels. Uh -huh. One sitting at the head and the other at the foot yes. of, uh, of the place where the body of Jesus had been laid. Yes. Dear woman, why are you crying? The angel asked her. Huh. Because they have taken my Lord. She replied, I don't know where they put him. She turned to leave and saw someone standing there. It was Jesus, huh. but she didn't recognize him. Yeah. Dear woman, why are you crying? Jesus asked. Why are you, what are you looking for? She looked at, she thought he was the gardener. Hmm. She didn't recognize him. She says, she's talking to Jesus, but she sees him and says, are you the gardener? Hmm. She thought she's talking to the gardener. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sir, she says, if you have taken him away, tell me where you put him. And I will go and get him. Mary, Jesus says. She turned to him and cried, Rabboni, mm -hmm. which is Hebrew for teacher. Mm -hmm. Says, don't claim, don't touch me, don't touch me. Jesus says, I haven't yet ascended to the Father. But go, find my brothers and tell them, mm -hmm. I am ascending to the Father and your Father to my God and your God. Yes. <laughs> Mary Magdalene found the disciples and told them, I have seen the Lord. Then she gave them his message. Mm -hmm. Verse 19. Then Sunday evening, the disciples were meeting behind locked doors <laughs> because they were afraid of the Jewish leaders. Suddenly, Jesus was standing there among them. <laughs> that would have scared him out of me. <laughs> Peace be with you, he says. As he spoke, he showed them the wounds in his hands and his side. They were filled with joy when they saw the Lord. Again, he says, peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I am sending you. Then he breathed on them and he says, receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive anyone's sin, they are forgiven. forgiven. If you do not forgive them, they are not forgiven. One of the <clears throat> one of the twelve disciples, Thomas, nicknamed the twin, was not with the others. When Jesus came to him, told him, "We have seen the Lord." He replied, "I won't believe it unless I see the nail wounds in his hands and put my finger in them and place them and place my hand into the wound on his side." Eight days later, the disciples were again together. Mm -hmm. And this time, Thomas was with them. The doors were locked. But suddenly, as before, Jesus was standing amongst them. Peace be with you, he says. Then he said to Thomas, put your fingers here and look at my hands. Put your finger, put your hand in my, my wound on, in my side. Mm -hmm. Don't be faithless unless you believe. Now, don't be faithless any longer. Believe. My Lord, my God, Thomas is right. Then Jesus told him, you believe because you have seen. Blessed are, are those who believe without seeing. 
You notice that when Jesus, when Mary brought to Jesus to, to grab, to embrace him, he says, don't touch me. I have not gone to the Father yet. Yes. But when he came back, after he had been with the Father, it says, the Father sent me, so I'm sending you. Mm -hmm. After he had been with the Father, he says, you can touch me now. Mm -hmm. He asked the disciples to touch his womb, to see his wounds. Mm -hmm. And he told Thomas, come, stick your finger in him. Yeah. So, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Put the blood on the mercy seat. He put the blood on the mercy seat. Praise God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Verse uh, 30. The disciples saw Jesus do many other miracle signs in addition to the one recorded in this book. Mm -hmm. But these are written so that, excuse me, these are written so that you may continue to believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that will be him, and that by believing in Him, you will uh, live by the power of His name. Yes. Amen. So yes. praise God and Thank praise God. Lord. And I'm going to read to you uh, a little something else that explains Jesus' fold of the napkin. Amen. We'll go closer with this. And everybody say, Amen. 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 <laughs> Lord. <laughs> the Gospel of John, verse uh, chapter 20, verse 7 says this. tells us that the napkin which was placed over the face of Jesus was not just thrown aside like the graven clothes. The Bible, an entire verse to tell us that the napkin was ne neatly yeah. folded and was placed yeah. at the head of the stony coffin. Yeah. Early Sunday morning, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb and found that the stone had been rolled away from the entrance. She ran uh, to Simon Peter and the other disciples of whom Jesus loved. And she says, they have taken the Lord's body from the tomb. And I didn't know they were where, where they had put him. Peter and the other disciples ran, and they outran Peter, and they got there first. He stooped and looked in, and he saw the linen cloth laying there, but he didn't go in. Then Simon Peter arrived, and he went in. He also noticed the linen cloth laying there. While the cloth was, uh, excuse me, while the cloth that had covered Jesus' head was folded and laying to the side, it is important, it's absolutely is important and significant to know this in order to understand the significance of the folded napkin, you have to understand a little bit of Hebrew tradition of, uh, of the day. The folded napkin had to do with the master and the servant, and every Jewish boy knew this tradition. When the servant sets the table for the master, he made sure that it was exactly the way the master wanted it. The table was furnished perfectly, and then the servant would wait just uh, out of sight until the master had finished eating. And the servant would not dare touch the table until the master was finished. Yes. Mm. Now, if the master was done eating, he would rise from the table, wipe his fingers, wipe his mouth, wipe his beard, and would wad up the napkin and toss it onto the table. And the servant would then know to clear the table. For in those days, the water napkin means, I am done. But if the master got up from the table and folded his napkin and laid it beside his plate, the servant would not dare to touch the table because the a folded napkin meant, I am coming back. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus folded Amen. his napkin. Yes. He folded it. And he placed it down. And no the other disciples didn't read it until Simon Peter saw it. He knew it and explained and says, He is coming back. He gave us so many signs. This was one sign that says, Our master is coming back. Amen. 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 So church, just know we serve a risen Savior. <laughs> Thank God for our risen Savior. Amen. Amen. He, we know that He is coming back. All these other worthy gods and heroes that are still laying in their tomb, except our hero, our God. Amen. He is coming back. Amen. <laughs> because He is risen. Amen. Go to the next one. Jesus Christ is our Lord. Our Lord is risen. Go ahead. He is risen. Hallelujah. It says, I am the resurrection yes. and the life. Whoever believes in me, though he die, he shall live. Amen. Amen. John 11. Amen. Keep going. 
There's the empty tomb right there. Pay the This is it. This is it. Paid in full. Paid it all. So praise God. Woo, hallelujah. Amen. Those of you that are listening, those of you that are watching, if you never accepted Jesus, now's the time. All you have to say is, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. I want to come to you. I want to confess you as my Lord and Savior. And you know, once you do that, He's going to forgive you. He's going to forget about you. You're going to start a new life. You go find a church where it's Bible based, where you can start growing in the Word of God. Amen. Amen. Start growing in the Word of God and allow the Word of God to just flow out of you. The truth is going to set you free. Amen. 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 So praise God. But we have to do our part, our share as well. Amen. So praise God. He says He lives. He lives. He lives. We, we sang a few minutes ago. He says He walks with me and He talks with me. This is relationship. Yes. Amen. Christianity. Relationship. My God walks with me and talks with me all the time. I don't know Amen. about you. But you need to receive Him and be there. Because He wants to be with you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Thank you. Hallelujah. I hope you receive something and bless